right, getting ready for herbicide season here. And uh, I thought I would go over my inventory of herbicides that I use in my everyday habitat work. So starting with everybody's favorite Roundup. Uh, this jug of Roundup, I put some liquid nitrogen fertilizer in there, as well as some surfactant that's gonna make it a lot more effective. Oust, sulfametron methyl. It's a flowable powder and mix it with water. Sometimes I, I mix it with uh, glyphosate as well. Very effective on ferns, works great on Japanese stiltgrass. And if you have seedlings, woody seedlings, like for instance, I'm about to do a job that has some nice oak seedlings coming underneath the ferns, I can use oust only and it won't kill my seedlings. It only kills herbaceous plants. This is uh, Broad Bloom. It's a it's a uh, generic bassagram, and that's I bought for a field that has a nut sedge problem. If you use uh, bassagram or Broad Bloom on uh, nut sedge, make sure you get it early, like right about now when it, the hot weather's coming. That's when it starts to take off, so you have to keep an eye on it. it has to be sprayed before it's six inches tall. Don't let it go to seed. <clears throat> this is a jug of bullseye. This is glyphosate generic. It's $20 cheaper buying it generic uh, as Roundup. I just get that from my co-op. Okay. Pursuit. Pursuit is a uh, pretty heavy duty um, product that I use when you have a terrible weed problem you just can't keep ahead of the weeds and you want to start from scratch it's good to hit it with a pursuit and you can grow legumes pursuit will kill everything but legumes so you know if you want to spray and uh, and plant clover uh, peas uh, soybeans etc pursuit could be a good choice for you because that'll clean up your field and it has a uh, long uh, soil activity so all summer long it'll be working in your soil preventing weeds from germinating 2,4-D-B or butyrac also generic uh, I use that for any kind of broad leaves in a clover plot that you want to try to clean up so your that could be used with together with clethodim clethodim uh, is readily available. Uh, that clethodim is the kind of the generic. Uh, I don't I don't buy any brand names; they're too expensive. But clethodim is is commonly uh, available now, and uh, can be used to kill all kinds of grasses. So if you have a clover field and you want to clean up uh, things like thistles and uh, oh I don't know. Uh, dandelions and other broad leaves uh, you can hit it with a mixture <clears throat> of clethodim 2,4-DB you can also spike that with one quart to the acre of glyphosate and it won't hurt your clover as long as it's uh, it's up and growing and, and starting to harden off like when when the weather gets hot I wouldn't put it on early like in May but in June you could get away with it it won't kill your clover Triclopyr and Amazapyr are two things I use for uh, forestry applications if you're trying to kill trees. It works good on hack and squirt and it works with uh, basil or cut stump treatments. Um, I like to use uh, Triclopyr in oil. You can put it in diesel and it works great on, uh, on trees. So I think that about wraps it up and uh, if you want to go over to the website side there's articles on all this over there if you send me an email and ask me for it I will get you a spreadsheet that has all this laid out for you uh, the, the effectiveness of these uh, what, what the applications are for these chemicals and the application rates and I might be able to come up with some cost figures for you as well per acre. All right, that's about it.
for herbicides today and I'll see you on the next video. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button and click on the bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video. And comment down below, let me know if there's anything you'd like to know more about.